Hello and welcome to my ultimate guide on asylum dresses and a farm in this beautiful asylum red dress. In this video, I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff. I'm going to be covering the math basically of the loot drops for the red dresses. I'm going to be showing how to actually go and farm the dresses. I'm going to be showing how to reset your private server. I'm going to be covering um, a very quick and easy way to server hop on public servers uh, to just very fast get uh, a bunch of different chances of looking at stuff and uh, so buckle up there's gonna be a lot that we're gonna cover and let's rock and roll and get us all some red dresses okay so as far as the math goes with the drop rates basically here's the gist of how this works so I'm on my private server and Entering here, I was the very first person on the server to come in here, and there was a 20% drop rate, um, or, or, sorry, a 20% chance that a dress would spawn. So on this very first try, this dress um, was lucky because it got there on the, it had a 20% chance of having any dress here. And of that particular blue dress, it had a, uh, a, its own percentage of being one of the three dresses that dropped there. So like this nothing spawned there nothing spawned there so essentially what's happening here is since it is a fresh load and this is also server side um, so throughout the course of the day you know I was the first person to come in here if the next person that would come in here would add another chance of it spawning and the next person would come in here to have another chance and another chance and another chance um, that's why on public servers you know especially later in the day um, when you're, you know, if you're server hopping over and over and trying to find them on public servers, they seem to always have something there most of the time. When you come and try this on your, your private server, uh, the very first time you come in here, most of the time I'll come in here and there'll be zero addresses. That's because that initial time that I came in, there was only a 20% chance the dress would spawn. And here is on the, uh, the Fed 76 info. Uh, you can there will be a link to this in the description you can show up the actual drop rates and you can click on here and they'll show the actual percentage chance that like a blue would be here so once there is a spawn of that 20 percent chance uh, of there being a spawn um you know 0.4 percent of it would be a blue you know for a white dirty uh six percent of the time it would be uh the white dirty of that 20 percent and here I broke down the math a little bit further here um, I've taken the drop rates and all of these will add up to 20% that little tiny 1% there is what we're after is the red dress which is a where's the red it is a 0.0104% uh, now that is on the first initial time on the server but in actuality it's I'm going to show you right after here how to make it so that you do get to the 100%. And it's as simple as just going in and out and loading the the, the instance over and over, which will get all the drop rates above one point, or, uh, sorry, above 100%, which actually puts the Red Asylum actual drop rate to 0.052, which makes it actually slightly less rare than like the Force Camel jumpsuit or some of the other some of the other items that you can get. All right, so for this, I am going to be starting on a private world, which is going to be your, your best mathematical chance of actually getting a rare to spawn due to the fact that if you're farming on public servers, because of the way that the server side loot works, in for Fort Defiance, the server is going to know whether or not there is a dress that's already been picked up and so every time that somebody does load into the instance it is going to constantly be reloading it for every single time that somebody does enter the instance and if the server already knows that that spot has already had something taken for it it's not going to keep on loading it in every time somebody that goes in there so if you go on your private server you can guarantee that you're the first person to enter that server so the instance will load fresh with its own server side loop table and um <laughs> then we're going to basically do the math of uh, going off of the drop rate um, for a single dress to spawn inside the instance, which is a 20% chance 
for the three spots that are in upstairs on the third floor and uh yeah and we can easily turn that into 100 percent just by you know going in multiple times over and over um you know it's not multiple it doesn't uh, multiply you know five times going in 20 percent chance each time is not going to make it automatically 100 sometimes i've gone in there on the ver first try and all three all three of the dresses have spawned sometimes i've gone in like 12 or 15 times to get that last uh last one to spawn so essentially here's here's the gist of it once i'm loading in into fort defiance um, there's a 20% chance that one of those dresses spawned upstairs and um, We'll go over that in just a moment for first of all I'm going to show just the basics of how to get upstairs for those of you that don't know here We go. This is a locked door that if you have done the main story uh, Quest to the point where you do the quest called recruitment blues you'll come in here and you'll get um, like permanent power to this like if I click on this now it's going to open it and I'll have access to the elevator over there um, but otherwise there is this cord up here that's going to go to a switch up top that you can trigger if you do have a jetpack obviously you can come right in and you can just go right up there and turn it on but for those with you without jetpacks I'm going to show how to wiggle your way through here and there will be some stuff you got to kill and uh, yeah we'll make our way through Okay, so once you do get to the end of the hallway here, you're just going to be going upstairs. And there will be a door to open. You kind of wiggle your way through. Now, if you do not have a marsupial um, mutation on, there's going to be a little tricky jump here. And uh, don't get discouraged. Um, on a previous video for this guide, I had taken off my mutation. And it took me a whole bunch of tries. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of jump out a little bit this way in midair. Just kind of wiggle back over here. Obviously with mutation doing it, it's a lot easier. Um, but don't just get discouraged. It is possible, but it's just a real simple jump and get right over to there. So anywho, um, from here you're going to go upstairs. These guys will cooperate. And from here... some jerk faces you get, you can get rid of so and that, that power cord from the front door comes up here and you're gonna have this power switch and that will open up the door and again if you've done the recruitment blues quest um, you will have access to this the grid will go from red to blue and you can just take the elevator upstairs or there's a just a pretty quick way you can go up here again if you have a jetpack you can just hop right up to the next floor if you don't have a jetpack, you can just come right over here. Right up here, there will be some bugs. And um, basically through this door, you're just going to jump up through the door. And another little jump right over here. Which will put you back up to the stairs. And from up here, now you have access to the third floor. And this door is forever open, by the way. Now we're here at the third floor. And there are only three spots up here that can spawn um, the dress. It is only this spot in this room right here. None of these other spots you don't have to worry about. Here at the end of the hallway, there will be this bed right here that will have a spot. And none of these other beds, just right there. And then in this back room, uh, right here. Well, see, we actually had one to spawn on this time. There's only a 20% chance that when we load it into here, there will be a dress. So anyway, so there's two other dresses, and now I'm going to show you the trick on how to get the other two to spawn, which is essentially just loading in and out of the front door, um, you know, a handful of times. You can try five or six times. Some, sometimes I'm going to beat the dead horse and just keep on going 10 or 12 before you try, which I'm going to do now, and I will speed up the video. 
uh, should we go and the big tip is when you do go out and you go back in once you do load in give it like a second or so you can kind of keep an eye on this guy when you first load in you'll see nothing maybe the lights will pop on after a little mini second then you'll see that guy pop on you know give it just a little breath and then you can go out and then back in just don't go out and then immediately spin around you know give the instance just a little bit of time to load in all right so i'm going to go and speed up the video now and let's go load in a bunch of times I feel like that was probably enough. Anyway, we're going to go check now. Now, again, doing it over five times doesn't guarantee that it will drop. Sometimes it may take a couple more tries. See, we didn't get that one to spawn yet. We got that one. That was the one that was already there, I believe. We got a white. Got one more. All right, so let's go. We'll do it a few more times to get that last one to spawn. All right, well, we're going to go take a look. We're going to see if we got that last dress to spawn. We did not. Well, let's keep on trying. Took a bit more tries than I would have wanted to get them all to spawn. But you can see here we didn't have any luck. Make sure you always check here. There can be Enclave mods that spawn. So anyway, we got one white. It's one, technically one of the rare colors. And a white dirty and a, another white dirty. So from here, we're going to show you the next um, trick to make this a little bit better. This is going to be a trick mostly for when you're doing on public servers when you're not going to be resetting and uh, it's pretty simple uh, the logistics of it is when you join daily ops once you leave daily ops it's going to put you in or it's going to put you back to wherever you were when you joined uh, daily ops so if you're right at the bench in in uh, Fort Defiance once you leave daily ops it's going to pop you right back there so it's as simple as leaving the server from inside of daily ops and for this time we're going to do it back on another private world and we are going to click on custom world and we are going to cancel it as soon as we go and then once we click on um, the private world again it's going to force a new one to load um, that way you don't have to go to a public world or wait the few minutes for your private world to, to be gone so anyway, we're going to load another private world, and I'm going to do one more chance at uh, spawning then, or spawning inside a private world, and then I'll, we'll go over and we'll server hop a bunch of times on um, public world and show you kind of the logistics of that. All right. So again, once you're loading on your private world, the very you're going to be the first person ever on that private world. So there's just going to be a 20% chance that each one of those three spots will spawn. Um, I would like to do the custom world trick and do an out of bed just because there is a you know a small chance that when you first load in there that all three dresses will be there. Um, I just like to get an idea of how many dresses are of the three spots that I need to to respawn. And when you do come in here, especially when you're on, um, when you're doing this on a public server, wait a couple seconds, because um, this thing, it's not instant that it loads. It takes uh, the instance, you know, sometimes it's been as long as four or five seconds for it to pop up, um, you know. So, okay, this is our, that was our first try. Again, make sure you check these, because it can be enclaves. Uh, but essentially, if I come in here on my private world and you know, there's already two things there. I'm not going to waste the time to go in and out of the front door to res respawn the the one bed. But for this case, since there are two spots, 
I'm going to go ahead and go outside and restart this. And we'll see if we get lucky. And when you do come back in here, um, you know, if you're doing this on your private world without access to this door, uh, doing it that way uh, by doing the daily op trick, if you haven't done the recruitment blues quest, you can start here and open the door and not have to worry about going all the way down there and re-clicking there, which is also a benefit. All right, well, let's see, uh, let's see what we get. All right, so we're going to go and check here, see if we got uh, lucky so far. Get that last one to spawn for us. We do have the brown, we do have the weathered still here. Again, make sure you guys check this box mod every, every time you guys are switching server. All right, there we go. So we got uh, all three to spawn. <clears throat> so now we're going to cover doing the daily op trick to um, go on public servers. And um, the biggest thing that I do want to stress is that you have to remember the server side loot um, for these dresses. Um, and also, depending on what time of the day that you're doing this, uh, let's say it's directly after server reset, you know, really fresh in the end of the day. And if you go onto public servers and you're not seeing a lot of dresses, um, the resetting, you know, going in and out of the front door um, can make them spawn, just like I'm doing on the private world. But you do have to remember that. Uh, you're dealing with the server side. If somebody was there right before you and they did take a dress off of that spot, the server side of, of the information, when you load in there, it's not going to load one because the server knows that that thing is gone. doesn't matter how many times that you go in and out, you're not going to make it load. Um, I have a wealth of uh, live streams of us testing this out. Um, if you guys wanted to go and see us hanging out and kind of see the different stuff that we get, but anyway, I am on a public server now, and again, you can kind of see there that it took a second or two to load in. So make sure when you first do go in, give it a moment. So we do have one there. We don't have one there. Make sure you check this. And we're going to go over here. So these two spots have nothing there. And it, um, I'm recording this about an hour after um, the servers did reset. Um, so I could go out in and out downstairs if I wanted to. But typically when I'm um, server hopping on public servers, you know, especially if it's much later in the day, I'll just go and check the one time and, you know, I can knock out 20 or 30 or whatever in X amount of time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go to do all bunch and see if we can get lucky. And uh, right on, let's, let's cross our fingers. <laughs>
Alright, so essentially, I just wanted to show that it's going to require a lot of server hopping. This grind and doing this trick, it's going to speed things up. You know, every server you're not going to have to go from the fast travel point inside the building to go open up the door to make your way up, up to the third floor. Doing this daily op trick is going to save you quite a bit of time, um, just server by server. So definitely going to make it a lot faster. But anyway, I'm not going to beat... I'm not going to do this all day long. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little example of the, the logistics of how the farm is going to go. Um, so I hope that helps you guys. And uh, right on. Let's see if we got anything. All right. So I'm going to go over the um, I'm going to go over the actual math of stuff on the drop rates. And uh, rock and roll. So here we are in Summersville on the map. Right here. And this first building at the fast travel point. Summersville is the best place that I know of in game. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you know any, any place better. Um, but essentially what you want to be doing to clear your loot table is to loot at least 255 items because that's the bulk of what uh, that is how many items that uh, the game will keep track of since you know throughout the map there's probably tens and tens of thousands of items that are just sitting on tables you know you go to train station there's little beer bottles around there's whiskey there's there's stuff everywhere you go to their place and there's just you know wrenches on on tables and stuff like that um your particular load in when you load into the game your, your game can't really handle knowing where every single tens of thousands of items are. So your game will only keep track of 255 things that you've interacted with. And they do not count for things that are in containers. We're just talking about items that are in the world that you can interact with. Basically, if you have an explosive weapon and you can shoot it and make it you know flop around in, in, in game, those are the type of items that we're talking about. So this place has a... A bonkers amount of stuff here there's like 280 just burnt textbooks as well as a whole bunch of other things so if you didn't need to go clear your loot table especially if you're farming you know ore, or if you're farming junk or you're farming any type of thing and uh it's not even no matter how many times you go and server hop you can't get it to load again or if you're farming in this case the asylum dresses you can just come in here if you do find a dress that you want to keep you pick up the dress, you can come in here, and you can go loot the entire house. Alright, so if you've been doing this over and over, and you've been lucky enough to get a, more than a few dresses, and you, you come in here, and it seems like half of the books are already gone, um, it just means that you've kind of come in in a cycle of 255 things so it's in the process of resetting there's other places around town if you do come over here and you want to make sure that you loot enough stuff in there Essentially, after you've farmed just a bunch, a bunch of, bunch of stuff, um, that will clear your loot table. So that red dress or any other of the nice dresses that you wanted to keep that you'd looted, um, it's doing all of the looting is going to reset it so that uh, the game no longer counts that thing that you had interacted with as part of your your loot table. So you can set your tent here, and you can go and scrap everything. And now you can, now you can go and reset your server, and you can keep on farming. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for watching. <clears throat> One final tip that I do want to add on here is that when you're dealing with your loot table, um, if let's say that you picked up two dresses on the first two beds, and uh, but you didn't pick up one on. Uh, the one in the bathroom bench. Every single time that you go to a new server, when you load in, your loot table is going to tell that server that those two dresses 
uh, can't be loaded because somebody got it. And that is also going to make that server for the rest of the day have those two bots be dead. I'm going to have a link here at the end of the video um, going over a live stream where we were testing it um, extensively. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please click like and subscribe and leave me a comment and tell me every time that uh, um, we get a new person that gets a red dress from uh, watching one of my, my videos, we post it up on the, the Mr. Marps Discord and uh, I would love to hear from you. So let me know if this, these tips are helping you out and uh, good luck to you guys. Red dresses for everybody. Alright, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the wasteland.